Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. The information uh, can be found at yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. You will get all various readings on my website, uh, in my storefront. So make sure you're on the right storefront. I've done over 660 readings. So if you don't see that number, then make sure that you're on the right website, <laughs> all right? Because they're scammers and they've been redirecting my links. So I had to take the links uh, to my website out, okay? From the description box. So actually, I think there's still one left and I have to take that out. So let's see what's up for you, Scorpio. We have the High Priestess for your overall energy, the Lovers, the Five of Wands and the Sun card. Okay, so, hmm, Scorpio. I feel like you're taking hold of something. That's what I'm getting with the Sun. You see how it looks like, it looks like a beetle, right? It's like taking hold of the Sun here. Now, what is the sun but light? And what is light? Information. So I feel like you're really holding on to some piece of information, but you're keeping it secret with the high priestess. So you're holding it. You're looking at it. I feel like you may be wondering if you should do something with it. Okay? With this sun card. Because something has been illuminated to you about this information. And it's like, I'm getting this palm, right? This like stop sign. It's like, stop. Enough, stop. So, let's clarify that. You also have lovers coming in. Now, I don't know if this information has something to do with a lover, right? Not sure, uh, but you, you could have multiple lovers with the five of wands energy. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, <laughs> this beetle is really, look up the spiritual significance of the beetles. All right, so let's see what's up, Scorpio. I want to see, I want to see clear Scorpio. All right, so what's the sun? What's the sun for Scorpio? The wheel of fortune and the spirit of cups. You're listening to your heart when it comes to this particular piece of information. Okay. You want, you want to move this wheel, but this wheel can't move until this information is out. That's what I'm feeling. This can't move. This being maybe your life. Okay, that's that's what I'm feeling. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. So are you destined to have in this information? Are you destined to do something with this information? That's the question. But you have to ask the question to this, to your heart. Okay, with the Spirit of Cups. What is your heart telling you? Don't listen to your head. Scorpio, you're a water sign. Listen to your heart. So tell me about the high priestess. Why is this secret? Whoa. The ace of pentacles and the devil. Is there a fear that you hold in revealing this information? What's the fear? Wow. Wow. Four of Pentacles, right? That's holding on. Holding on. 
Okay, this is like the spirit of swords. It's like spying. Oh, is somebody watching you to make sure you do not reveal some sort of information? That's what I'm getting. There's a fear associated with this. There's a toxicity associated with this. So this has been, look at that. Oh no, that's Virgo. Almost looked like Scorpio for a minute. The M, see the M. Constellation there, right there. Okay, it almost looked like Scorpio, but it's Virgo. So, I feel like you've been hanging on to this information for a long time. And your attention something is lighting up it's like light bulbs are going off and you're utilizing your intuition as to what you do with this information it's been going slow you're gonna take your time I mean you think of a scorpion right um, I was just looking up tarantula so I'm like all into the animals right now so you think of a scorpion a scorpion is very patient so this is what you're doing uh, picture the pentacle as the information you're holding on to this you've been holding on to this what do you do with it you've been very patient because Scorpio you're the detective you dive deep you dig deep so you're thinking you're thinking Scorpio and you're wondering about some sort of opportunity is there an opportunity for you to reveal this information? I don't know, because there may be something that you're afraid of, but some, because something toxic is surrounding this with the devil energy. Tell me about the lovers, the two of cups, the hermit. Does this have something to do? And the innocence of wands. Okay, so really going within. I mean, this could be information about a lover. This is possible. I mean, you do have love here in the overall energy. Or this could be two separate situations, okay? With the Hermit card, you're seeking that wisdom. You're diving deep into your psyche, into your darkness, right? Everybody's got a shadow. So you're shining the light upon the shadow aspects of the self. And yes, while the sun is here, and can help you with this. I feel there's something also that doesn't have to do. This isn't about shining a light upon your shadow, okay? A part of it is, yes, like you're utilizing the sun to do that, but the sun is there for a different reason, okay? And when you think of the sun, the sun is Leo, and the sun is all about the heart. So it's, it's important that you follow your heart, as far as this is concerned, you will be looking at your shadow and you will be listening to the messages that come from your heart. Okay, so let's see. I want to see what the five of wands is, the four of swords, and the justice card. See, again, we have not speaking being quiet with the four of swords so being quiet about something that you need to be you need to make a decision on so there is a decision that you need to make scorpio and this has been an internal struggle because you've been carrying this around for a little bit for a hot minute you've been patient this has been quite some time you've been carrying this around so what does this information have to do with Walking away from something, a love situation. Eight of Cups, walking away from a love situation. So this could be correlated, directly correlated with a love, okay? This could be, I mean, this is going to be different for everybody because everybody has their own circumstances, right? So let's get your challenge. This is interesting, Scorpio. 
Uh, your challenge is the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Strength card, and the Spirit of Pentacles. So there is a need for you to be strong, for you to hold your heart close and listen to it in order to seek that clarity, to find this clarity, and to gain your um, you know, your wish fulfillment, or you may find that it's a challenge for you to get your wish fulfillment up with this. This, I don't know if this is in the way. Is this secret in the way? Okay, so, well, that rhymes. So let's see, what's the spirit of pentacles? Five of pentacles. You are afraid to be left out in the cold that something's going to end. Nine of cups. Seven of Cups and Three of Pentacles. So there's confusion, uh, right? You have a lot of options here. There's confusion about what you're building. What are you building? How is this serving you holding on to this, right? How does this get you closer to your wish fulfillment? You're looking at all different angles. Like I said, you, you are the detective. So you are going to research whatever this is from all angles to do what's best for you and what's best for, I don't, I don't know what the situation is, all concerned, what your heart is telling you, you'll know best Scorpio. So, and this is your happy birthday, by the way, this is your birthday season. So the light is shining on you. The sun is shining. You are glowing. So you will be getting a lot of suitors. Okay. But also because the sun is shining on you, then it's also illuminating that which is within you and the secret is within you. So, you know, double-edged sword there. So you're getting a lot of attention, you're glowing, you're looking fabulous, but it's also reminding you of something and pointing something out, shining a light in an area of the secret that you've never looked at before, okay? So tell me about this strength card. The hanged man and the death card. So Scorpio energy. This is transformation, transmutation of energy. And this is going to take strength and courage for you to do this. So like I said, you're looking at something from a different perspective. And this is a good thing because, you know, the hangman upside down is enlightenment, right? Light is information. So tell me about the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this clarity and truth, okay, is regarding your happiness, your emotional fulfillment, your abundance, your feeling good, your celebration, joy, all right? So you're seeking clarity, like I said, in all areas of your life. You're looking at your fears. You're looking at your happiness. You're looking at your joys, your confusion, everything. That you're, you know, the whole gamut. So your outcome is the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Universe. Hmm. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of abundance with this B, right? Because what is what does a B do? Okay, a B produces a B produces a lot of honey, right? But it also is a hard worker. So it builds, it creates, and it creates these beautiful geometric shapes too that hold energy. So I feel like it's like this circle, right? I feel like this is a geometric shape that's holding energy and that energy is abundant. But for you to get to this abundance, you do have to do something. So whether this is working towards it because a bee's a worker. A bee reminds me of an ant as, uh, you know, as a worker. See the ants here. Okay, building. 
but it's also fertilizing, right? And very um, a sexual creature, really. I associate sex with bees. Um, and you are the sex organ, right? That's your body part, Scorpio. You rule the sex organs. So I feel like the bee is very appropriate here and what you're creating, this whole new beginning. So it's fertilization of a new beginning based on this clarity that you're gaining. All right, and growth is going to come from it. See, we have the work, right? We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So work is involved, working towards this abundance. And this is going to gain you peace. This is peace. This could be moving too, physically moving. But the Six of Swords talks about moving on from an area of life that was very rocky, very turbulent, and just flowing. And what's standing out is like the rainbow colors, right? And I feel like I'm getting the promise, right? Because what was God's promise? The God, God promised not to flood the earth, right? With a rainbow. Um, he promised not to do that again. So there may be a promise involved in this Six of Swords. And with this promise, okay, maybe a promise wasn't kept. And this caused turbulence. So now this promise is kept. I, I'm not... That's what I'm getting from this. So you're, it's, you've got peace within you and you begin to flow more easily wading through the water, right? So any resistance, like water is resistance. But what I'm getting with the sea turtle is that it's effortless now where it was once choppy, right? Stormy. Now it's effortless. And this, this peacefulness comes from this knowing of this, kept promise this this like this sigh of relief it's a sigh of relief so i didn't even i didn't even clarify here so the universe clarifying the universe is the spirit of wands so yeah this is excitement right excitement mm. Be careful of people around you lying to you because this is emotional manipulation. This is jealousy. So this abundance that's coming towards you can be, uh, you know, also a double-edged sword here. Six of cups. So there's a soulmate here for you. Could be somebody from the past, right? But, or these could be people from the past. Let me see. What's the five of swords? What is this? Innocence of cups. Ooh. Okay, there is an apology here. What's this apology for? Ace of Wands. This is a very phallic symbol, sexual card. So is somebody apologizing for cheating or something like that with the Ace of Wands? I wouldn't believe them if they are with the Five of Swords because the Five of Swords is, but it's usually more than one person. So this could be like a group apology, like from family members or something, right? They want to manifest something with you again. Somebody does. Okay, this could work in a lot of different ways. These people could be talking you out of reuniting with somebody with the Six of Cups, right? Lying to you about something. So if this person comes back to apologize about something sexual, if they cheated, or if you do, okay? Somebody's twisting this. Somebody's twisting the words. Somebody's twisting this apology. So it's, I would say it's more of a group of people that are trying to manipulate the situation, all right, and trying to create something different because that serves them. It, you're, they want you to do what they want you to do. There's a lot of passion here with this Six of Cups, okay? Yeah, so some of you could be moving with the Two of Wands, okay? Your world is opening up. Clarify the Six of Swords. The Judgment card. Definitely reunion. But this is going to require you opening your heart and being vulnerable, Scorpio. Taking a leap of faith. Yes, be wary of these people. These people are sneaky, sneaky. 
and it's not just one. Movement of wands, there's at least four. Because if you, you know, it's like you're one, therefore. So movement of wands is clarifying the ten of wands and the four of wands. So there's something you're moving on. It could be a commitment. It could be something you're celebrating, right? It could have to do with a home. I do feel like it, it's also a marriage card. Clarifying the eight of pentacles is the nine of wands, the seven of swords, the three of swords. So yeah, the sneaky sneakiness. There's this healing from the past that needs to happen. So don't run from it. All right. That can happen with the seven of swords energy or somebody's running from it. So if this person's coming back from the past, okay, apologizing for something, then this needs to be worked out. This needs to be healed or else it's not, it's, it's going to linger and it's just going to happen again. Like it'll keep popping up. All right. When you two want to just move forward, this is moving as well. So you want to move forward. Also twin flame energy. I get with this card in this deck. So overall outcome. Ooh, the moon. Secrets. Hang on. Intuition. The sage. Wisdom. And marriage. Is there a secret about a Taurus, a Libra? We have the earth mother and the movement of cups. So we have the sage, the earth mother, and the movement of cups. So there could be a lot of emotions between you and a Libra um, or a Taurus, but this is also talking about commitment in marriage. That's the sage, right? What's the sage? Ooh. So there may be a couple of people involved here. Somebody's trying to balance something, okay? Maybe that's hidden. So this healing, this is what I'm saying. This healing needs to take place. So I don't know if this has to do with this secret. But the healing needs to take place in communication. Because if not, then somebody is going to be hiding something with the moon card. And the six of pentacles. And it could be this juggling. Heart of wands. You need to see what they're hiding. Temperance. What are they hiding? stuck. It's like something's keeping them stuck. So you've got to make sure that, you know, something's not keeping you or them stuck and anchored somewhere because it won't work. It won't. And this says it over here. There'll be defensiveness. Okay. This is a uh, a message from the past that you're not getting, that you're not learning. There's no wisdom taken from it because of this stuckness. And the wisdom can be had here with the sage, okay? And the moon card. But listening to your intuition, you have to be aware. You have to communicate. And, and the five people or the four people, you've got to just leave, leave out of the mix. Leave them out. Because that's just going to mess with your mind even more. So leave those people out, deal with what's in front of you and go with your intuition because you are very intuitive, Scorpio. So your intuition is going to rule over anything, okay? And I'm trying to do 10 minute readings and here it is 23 minutes in. I just can't, I can't. Zabkiel, ecstasy, see? So there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of sexual energy here. All right. All right. Zavkiel. Zavkiel wishes you to know that divine ecstasy may come in any moment as a deep feeling of passion for your spiritual growth or as an aspect of your love whereby your whole being is transfixed with the choice you have made to join the mystical pathway. The two gatekeepers on this path are awe and joy, both of which are closely aligned to ecstasy. As you experience this heightened state, be aware of the whispers of the angels. As you see in the oracle, angels use this high frequency opportunity to impact sacred loving information to us about our journey. They give our higher self information about a choice we need to make 
or how to open vistas of consciousness about our ethical existence. Trust the angels, for they will always have your heartfelt interest in their hearts. Chant Ha in the heart chakra to open this channel of light-filled inspiration from the angelic realms. So again, this is talking about listening to your intuition and allowing that spiritual wisdom to be integrated into your lights that is shining very bright right now, Scorpio. So I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the, no, it's not in the description box below, Scorpio. I'm losing my mind today, Scorpio. Uh, there are scammers out there stealing my readings and redirecting links and so on and so forth. So uh, go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com and there you will find a variety of readings to choose from. When you place an order, you will then get a message stating the turnaround time. And uh, when your reading is complete, you will get an email with a link that will take you back to this channel. And you can watch your video for as long as you wish, right? So it'll be on here forever. So if it doesn't come back to this channel, then it's not my video. If you're questioning whether or not it's me, it's not me. So report them if you are. All right, Scorpio, I hope this resonated. Drop a comment and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of love tarot. Namaste.